Welcome back. I thought I'd give a brief update on the clavier line. The last time we spotted that it was a bit loud and it had an issue with the power amplifier where the ripple caps had failed and the amp was running a little warm. So since then we've recapped the power amp. So let's turn it on and see what it's like. Okay, so a little bit of noise, that's to be expected. So let's try it with the console attached. Uh oh, we've definitely got an issue here. So I did take this apart and there was one of the contacts for the keys had kind of become misaligned and was constantly being held down. So once that clipped back in place, it works fine. There's still a bit of noise in here and I did underestimate how many capacitors and how much electrical hardware is in the console. So that might be the next part of this video series. But for now, we're gonna move on to the keys. These need a little bit of attention as a lot of them had fell off and there was a permanent marker on them. So with a bit of cleaning solution, I cleaned these up and it did take a bit of work, but I think it's totally worth it. And they look a lot better. And it's a little bit sad, I am deleting part of the history of this instrument, but it does look original now. So one interesting thing I've found is um, a manual for this instrument. So we can test some of the settings. So if we kind of select different number configurations, we get different instruments. So here's a screenshot. So let's try a few. So this is meant to be church organ. This is a piano. And this one is bagpipes. Yeah, it, it's, it's not quite a perfect reproduction. I think there might be a little bit of work required on the console, but we'll leave that for the future. But we are making slow progress to this. There's still some work to go on the console side of this instrument, but I think we've made some good progress so far. And I think that's the potential of a really fun and interesting keyboard. What do you think? Anyway, that's it for today.